This year, the famous Boys of Summer included a girl, a 12-year-old girl with a wicked arm. Monet Davis outpitched the best of them in leading her Philadelphia Little League team to the championships, and in so doing, gave hope to every boy and girl whose game plan includes baseball stardom. But our senior correspondent, Mike Schneider, reports the way they're working has some sports researchers worried. And uh, Joe Girardi, an assistant head athletic trainer, Mark Littlefield, going out to the mound to check on Nova. It's a regular sight this baseball season, a manager going to the mound after a sudden injury to a pitcher. I think that's going to be it. They're going to get a, a, somebody up in the bullpen due to injury. The fact is, pitchers have been getting hurt for years. That's not really news. Here's the news. There's research showing more pitchers are getting hurt more frequently, and those injuries are coming much earlier in their careers. <laughs> Seton Hall University has a highly respected baseball program. They work hard to keep their players healthy, but the pitching coach says you can't deny the surge in injuries. Unfortunately, you're seeing it on every level, youth, high school, uh, college and and certainly in the in the major league. So there's uh, there's no level where it's not having uh, it, you know an impact. What's the cause? That's what they're trying to figure out at the Human Motion Research Lab at William Patterson University. We're looking at what factors cause injuries and how to avoid them. And they're doing that by putting athletes into a special sensor-filled outfit, which transforms this into this a computerized image of this pitcher in motion. Elite athletes have been using stuff like this to try to improve their performance, but these researchers are out to protect kids. We're focusing on looking at the biomechanics behind motion analysis to make sure that we um, prevent injuries, especially at a younger age, and have children make it to the, their full potential. And ironically, that potential is often jeopardized by the quest to achieve it. And their parents want them to be uh, make it to the major leagues, for example, in baseball. But a lot of them drop out or get injured because the muscles haven't developed properly. And when they're focusing on one skill, uh, it causes injuries. And the research indicates the way to avoid that is variety. If they play a lot of different sports and play um, or focus on the skill development, then there's a good balance. As in balanced muscle development, which is crucial for healthy young bodies. The children can grow properly, and when they're older, they can actually excel at the sport that they want. And if they do get good enough to make it to the major leagues, maybe, just maybe, avoid painful scenes like this. For NJTV News, I'm Mike Schneider.